Hey everyone, it's Lisa. Happy Friday. I hope that you had a good week and a good Halloween last night. <laughs> Halloween is not one of my favorite holidays. It just really never has been, but of course the kids love it, so I have to get into it as much as I can. And usually by the time it gets here, you know, I'm excited for Brooke them. was um, um, Edward Scissorhands, and that was fun. She had fun with her makeup and everything. She is really talented in makeup and hair, and um, she's very artsy. And um, so I was proud of her. She did a good job. And then Will, for the second year in a row, was Luigi. <laughs> He's like his mom. He doesn't like the mean stuff. So Brooke and John, they love all those zombie movies and all that scary stuff. But anyway, so we had a good time, and I hope that you did. And I'm sure that you First have lots of First thing I'm going to show you today is some gifts that I got this week. One of my subscribers, Julie, sent me a couple of really neat gifts. And one of them said not to open until November 1st, and I have to admit, I cheated just a little bit, um, just a day or two, and <laughs> John opened it. And um, then this one I got the next day, and she got it for my room, my girly room, and I love it. It's a Carrie Bradshaw, keep calm and carry on, as in Carrie Bradshaw. And I love this, I'm going to have it framed, and I am, I tell you what I might have to do to get anything really accomplished in my room over there. John is going to take out the carpet and that will be the last room that he does the hardwood floors in. So he's been kind of waiting until he got a couple of days off and he's been really busy at work. And I have been like slowly going through and selling a lot of my clothes that I had hanging in there. And so I am going to get in there and do that, but I might have to take like a week or two off of YouTube so that I can spend that time in there doing it because it's like I don't have enough time in a solid, you know, block, a solid block of time to get anything done. So anyway, that's what's going on with that. Um, and then this is what she told me not to open until Christmas. I love it. It is a Sex in the City Christmas ornament. She loves Sex in the City too. And she is also an author and has written a book and let me go get the sheet that she sent me. I'll be right back. Okay, here it goes. Here's the card that she sent me in that precious. Okay, um, let's see here. Let me find it. It's called quick. Hot Flash, The Adventures of a 50-Year-Old Superhero. So Julie, you have to let us and know down below when your book is going to be out. And I am just so honored to be mentioned in this book. I think that is probably one of the most special things that has happened to me here on YouTube and I really appreciate it. And she said some really, she wrote me a really not long note and said some really nice things. And this is what it's all about. It's about us getting together and supporting each other. So, and then my friend Colleen Roth, somebody said that I was pronouncing it wrong. Ross, Ross Child or Ross Child. So Colleen <laughs> she sent said, me a big box of her I mean, this let me get big it real quick. crate, which I think is so cool. I'm going to use this for, I don't know what, something really good of her skincare. And I told her she was so good about picking things for me that go with my current skincare. And what I'm doing is trying to get rid of just, I've done really good on my chest. I'm actually probably about halfway through. I'm just going to do one round of the hydroquinone and stuff that I'm on, and I am going to do that video next week. But when I get through with that, then I'll be on like a maintenance. Actually, when I get through, I'm going to do an IPL laser treatment, and then I will be just on a maintenance, and then I will be able to try some of these. But even now, I can use a lot of these. Okay, this is like my favorite product of all. It is the restorative hand cream. I have it on right now. The smell is, I told her, it's its like, it reminds me a lot of the Bare Minerals fragrance that Loves My Violet Mary sent me. And I cannot remember the name of it right now. I'll put the name down here. It is the sexiest yet comforting scent. It is just beautiful. And I believe it has like some lavender and maybe, I don't know what else it has in it, but just a gorgeous, wonderful hand cream. I've got on right now. It doesn't make your hands greasy. You don't feel like you can't drive or do anything. Anyway, I'm not gonna go through every single product. Retinol treatment complex, things like that that I can use after when I'm just doing maintenance and I'm not doing such extreme face oil, things like that and some masks. So I am going to use some of these and then do a video on it and give you some of my thoughts here in the next couple weeks. And I will put her 
Facebook and all her links and stuff down below. She sent me some pictures of her latest video last night and she is a gorgeous girl, woman, girl. I always, I still consider us girls. And she is, has really, I can honestly, I do not have to say this. I have been talking with her for years since I've been on YouTube and she has been working on this skincare line for years. She has been traveling all over the place. She sent me um, packages from different countries when she was, you know, going to different countries doing work on this and she is also going to do makeup and stuff too so I'm excited about that but anyway so thank you Colleen for this and she has some more giveaways going and I believe you are going to be able to purchase at first she's just doing the e-commerce just you know selling from her site but she's going to ship worldwide and it's going to be it's going to be good so I'm happy to be friends with her um, so thank you Colleen for sending hey, me these goodies right here. that's one thing about wearing it straight versus when I curl it, it just kind of curls right out of my face. But when I wear it straighter, it gets in my face. But Brooke was saying how much she liked it um, the other day when I had it straighter. So that's what made me do it straight again. Anyway, and this is another gift from my sweet friend, Gina. Love Peace and Lip Gloss. Most of you know her, but if you've just joined me, she is. she has just started doing videos again. We met here on YouTube. She was one of my subscribers when I first started. Matter of fact, she won one of my contests and that's how we really started corresponding back and forth and she is something she is like my i don't know if, if the correct term would be alter ego but it's we are so different in so many ways yet down deep in our cores we're so alike and i think that's what really makes a good friendship it's kind of like on sex in the city or any of those shows gosh i'm trying to think of some other ones now any of those shows that has groups of women that are truly really good friends. I'm thinking of, what's that one with Bette Midler and Goldie Hawn? Um, the Ex-Wives Club or something. Any of those you know, shows that have a good group of girlfriends, that's what I think keeps you together is that you're so diverse, yet when it comes down to your character and your beliefs and what truly makes a good friendship you're so much alike and that's how we are we both love our husbands and our children we both love to feel sexy and pretty and there's just so much that brings us together but she is a trip you it was you have to go watch some of her videos and you'll see what i mean but we text back and forth every day and usually talk to each other on the phone and we always we're silly we're always doing sound effects like on the phone like bam and <laughs> just different things and one day I saw on Shopbop's website they had some rings with the different words or whatever and I will put a picture of that right here so I sent that to Gina and she bought this for me she was gonna buy us both one she was gonna get bang and she got me pow <laughs> and I should have worn this today I thought I just immediately put the black one on, but I love stuff like this. This is kind of like my necklace or the perfume bottle necklace or um, my love ring. Any of that stuff that has words or is interesting and is a little bit cheeky and just out of the ordinary. That's the kind of stuff that I love. And um, so she got this for me at Shopbop. And like I said, I think you could get it in gold and silver. And then they had bang too. And um, they didn't have one small enough for her. She needed a five. And I believe they only had six and seven. But she said she was still going to look. And um, I think the black might look better with this other ring. I'm going to show you though. But anyway, so thank you, Gina. That was so sweet. And this is just like, we have a lot of little things that we do. <laughs> that nobody else would understand. But that's, there again, you know how it is with good friends. So um, then I... Nordine, my shoe guy at Saks, he is the sweetest guy, he is from Paris, and he texted me this week, I believe, or last week, and said that he was in the stock room and found where him and Alyssa, his manager, had gotten together a birthday box for me and, and Allie um, from the Trish McAvoy, and they sent me some Bond Number no. 9 samples, but all of them had gotten together and sent me, gotten together a birthday gift, and it never got sent to me, so I got it this week, so it was like my birthday all over again, which, who can complain about that, and um, so they sent me 
Nordine sent me a, I took a picture of it, maybe I'll put it on the end of this video. He had gone to Paris, and when he came back, he brought me three bottles, one bottle of white wine, one bottle of a dark wine, not sure exactly what it is, John's more into wines than I am, and then a bottle of champagne. And he imports that from Paris. So I don't know if any of you are wine connoisseurs. I will put his name, cell phone number down below because I believe he's going to start doing that because he wanted to know our opinions and stuff and reviews. He's just, he's one of those people, and that's what I admire about people so much is when they have that drive. They're just doing so much, and I don't know, they're driven, you know, by not just money, but I don't know, their interest, I guess. And so in this box, I'm going to save this for last, was a card, a beautiful card from All of Them for birthday. And then there were some things, like I said, some Bond Number no. 9 samples because they know how much I love that. And then Allie from Trish McAvoy sent me these and they are all so pretty. And this lipstick especially is not one that I would have chosen, but it is beautiful. And I will make sure I wear it soon so I can show it to you. But she sent me this essential pencil in baby pink. And it's a really pretty, um, you can just probably look at it and tell what color it is. It's one of those, I don't know, it's like a, it's a frosty, but it's, um, it's not sparkly. It's just got a good, you know, kind of sheen to it. Really pretty. And then I'm going to save this one. And then this lip gloss, which is the Beauty Boost SPF gloss. And this is in Pretty Pink. And I've had this one in Sexy Nude or something before. But that is beautiful. And then this. This is what she sent that I would have probably never picked, but it looks beautiful. You know, I had the um, Barely Peach. Well, this is the Barely Mauve. And it is beautiful. It is just a really pretty nude, actually. When you put it on, it is just it's one of those colors like rosie huntington whiteley or like even like angelina jolie it's those people that have scarlett johansson that have the big pretty full lips and a lot of times you look at them and you think what color are they wearing is that just their lip color you know you're trying to figure it out and it reminds me of especially with the rosie i know one of the burberry colors she wears is a plummy or prune i believe it's called prune and um, it's just a beautiful, beautiful color. And look at the sheen. And these, like I've said before, have that Aveda. You can tell they have good stuff in them to take care of your lips. And then when Nordine had gone to Paris, he had gone kind of all of a sudden. And I believe I had just ordered a pair of shoes. I'm not sure which ones they were from him. I can't remember which ones they were. They might have even been the Alice and Olivia. I'm not sure, but he asked me, did I want anything? Did John or I want anything from Paris? And I said, oh, no, don't worry about us. You just take care of your stuff, and I'll talk to you when you get back. And then he said, no, I really want to get you something from Paris. And so I said, okay, well, get me a pink lipstick. So he knows how much I love, you know, makeup and stuff, and I thought that would be neat. Well, he brought me back a Dior Addict pink lipstick and I have it on today and it is the 476 and this is the lasting color plaza and it's what I have on I have it on with candy rose Dior lip liner and it is beautiful no gloss so you can see it's just got a good sheen to it and these lipsticks are awesome so thank you so much Nordine if you're watching and his wife um that was very sweet and I really really appreciate it that's just I love stuff like that so I think that is it for my gifts. So now I'm gonna go into what I got this week. And I didn't really get a lot. I got a couple things in from YouTube, not YouTube, from eBay. And I thought what I would do, instead of doing a separate eBay video, I'm gonna just incorporate that into this one. And um, I hope that it's not gonna be too long. It's already been 15 minutes, so I will try to be quick. Yesterday I went to Ulta and i picked up this gina told me about them they are the revlon color burst just those same pencils that have been so popular and i told you i'm trying to get a little bit better now people really hold me to the things i say so when i say something i don't just like cold turkey quit buying stuff or you know it's just i'm trying to i'm just trying to be better 
So before I would have bought every single color that I thought I liked and I would have bought one of the matte, one of the lacquer and everything. But I figured I'm really, I do like some matte lipsticks, but when it comes right down to it, I like a glossy lip. I really think I do. So I got one of the Lilac, I believe it's what it's called. I'm not sure, I'm probably getting that wrong. No, Lacquer Balm. And the color I got, I'm not sure if there's even a name. Um, let's see, it's 105. And there's no way I'll be able to read that name. So, um, and it is just a nudie pink color and it is really pretty. I had it on yesterday and just very, you know, has a really good sheen, but it stayed on a long time. And you can see it's kind of like a nude. It's not really, really, really pink. It's just like a nude lip. It's very similar to the Dior Basic that I had on yesterday. Um, it's just a really good everyday throw in your purse type color. Now the ones, the matte ones I've heard are real good and then Gina liked the, the one of the real bright ones, but I just knew if I was gonna wear one, it was probably gonna be this one, which reminds me, I bought another one of those this week that I kept hearing everybody talk about it. It's been in so many people's favorites and it's in my purse. So I'm gonna it, it is right the um, Too Faced, lip injection, which I typically do not like this. I tell you, that's one of the reasons that I went ahead and got my lips done the first time is you spend so much money trying to plump up your lips and you could just, I don't know, by the time you bought all that stuff, you could, you could have just done it if you wanted to, but that is not why I got this. I would have gotten it. I probably would have rather it not had that tingly thing in it. It is the intense. It's not as intense as that lip gloss I was showing you, the one that I got from the uh, Med Spa. I got this from Ulta. Let me carry on with it. It's the Too Faced Lip Injection Color Balm, and this is the, I believe it's called Never Ending Nude. I saw, no exaggeration, I think I have seen three to four videos where this is their favorite thing, and it is a beautiful nude. Um, it really is pretty, and it does plump up your lips, and you can't see it. It's, it is very light and nude. It's, um, I would compare it to, hmm, it's not quite as pigmented as those Hourglass lipsticks. It is truly like a balm. And I did, I'm just thinking, I did self-tanner last night for the first time in forever. I just broke down and did it. The reason I haven't been doing it is because I've been working on my chest on the skincare, but my chest has been so sensitive lately, I thought I would give it about a week and not put anything on it. And so I thought, well, I'll go ahead and self-tan. So that's probably why you can't see this as good as I thought you could. But it is just a nude. If I were to have it on right now, you probably could not hardly see it on my lips. It is a pinky nude. But really, really pretty and really does plump up your lips. And I'm sure that you guys have seen other people talk about it too. So, and then, let's see, something else I got this week. And I got this at CVS. And evidently, I was pretty lucky to find these. I had actually gone in looking for those... I went in to get Halloween more. Like I wanted to get one more bag of trick or treat candy yesterday. I believe it was yesterday. I've had so much. I have had so many appointments and things going on this week. It feels like I've had two weeks worth of stuff crammed in this week. So I'm confused. But when I went in CVS to get candy, I was looking for those lip balm things, and they weren't there. But they did have these, and I had just seen Lori my friend talk about them and they're the color tattoo new limited edition colors and i hope they make these you know permanent because they're awesome one is matte brown and i have not used this myself but brooke and i used this last night for her edward scissor hands and it is just a beautiful i mean i think it's every bit as pretty if not prettier than groundwork paint pot and we used it we actually did some shadowing with it we did her crease kind of high she was we didn't do Edward Scissorhands to the max. We just kind of did a prettier version. But we did do this, and we did it, you know, in the inside, and then we did some good contouring, and it looked really pretty. I loved it. So I was so glad I got I got all three of them. And then this one I used today, and I have used it. I used it yesterday, and I loved it. Loved it. It kept my makeup on all day long. A beautiful canvas, and I didn't even have to. A lot of times when you put stuff like this on, it's so tacky, you have to put like brulee or some color like that down to make like an even, the MAC artist used to say like a skating rink, that you want like an even 
nice finish on your eyes before you start. But this provides that already. It is just so pretty and it is the Just Beige. And it is just gorgeous. It is like a cross between Soft Ochre and, um, what's the other one that's sparkly? Bare Canvas. It's like those two combined with no shimmer. It's, it's beige like bare canvas, but has that little bit of a yellow undertone. It's so brightening. As soon as I put it on, I, I swear I feel like it makes my eyelids expand double. I never realized, because I have not been using, you know, bases and stuff in a long time. I've been getting kind of lazy, just putting my powder over my eyes real quick and just slapping something on, but this is beautiful. And then the last one I have not tried yet is, I know I'm going to like this because I love Girl Friendly. This is Nude Pink. And um, I'll open it so we can at least look at it. But browns are so pretty if you'll put them over a pink base. It just gives them that rosy tone. And that is so pretty. That almost looks like, gosh, that almost looks like painterly. That's not, that's not real pink. So I have to let you know how that goes. I think that's going to be pretty. It might be might be a little bit more brightening so I got those and then when I was at Ulta I picked this up no I didn't a total story I had some CVS reward bucks and so I went and grabbed this and ended up getting it for I think three dollars but this is another one of those age rewind treatment concealers I have been loving the neutralize I have it under my eyes today but anyway I bought five. this in the medium because my friend Colleen Ross, Ross Child said that this was one that she liked. I think she said she had every color, but she used medium a lot. So I haven't used it yet because I haven't, I've been wanting the lighter under my eyes lately. And then I'm almost finished with makeup, I believe. Matter of fact, I think I have forgotten one thing. Another did. thing I was thinking about my makeup and stuff too. I, one of you gave me the best suggestion. I had never, ever, ever watched Gossip Girl. And I was ready for a new series to watch on Netflix. So I have started watching Gossip Girl. And it is, John says, I can't believe you're watching that when he catches little bits and pieces because they're still in high school right now, even though it's kind of like 90210. They're older. They're too old to be in high school. But the fashion is beautiful. Just the Chanel bags and the Louis Vuitton, just every beautiful things and I have been admiring Blake Lively's makeup and she does similar looks and stuff like this anyway um but I told you last week when I got the Dior blush the new red which I should have mentioned that it was part of a collection called the vivids and they are formulated to be sheer someone said that it said that on the website so in all fairness then it's supposed to be sheer because it's such a bright color so if you are really really fair and you have a problem with blushes, be, bright blushes being just hard for you to use, that would be a perfect one for you to try. And I did not take it back because it is so pretty. But you guys had suggested some beautiful blushes and I'm just trying to wait on that Sephora VIB sale. I've got my cart just packed full and I'm gonna order the NARS Exhibit A, you said was a good red blush. And then this is the one that I was looking for, and they got it back in at Ulta, and it is the Tarte Natural Beauty, and it is a just beautiful color. It is a pinky red. It's, it's basically the color of the container here, and it's matte, and it is really, really pretty. If you want that just fresh in, from outside little you know I just love that you know pop of color on your cheeks that's just I don't know I feel like it makes your cheekbones look even prettier when you have a bright color like that so that's really pretty but I don't know how anything is going to beat this this is the frankly scarlet and right after you guys told me about this in my comments I got a thing from Mac the free overnight shipping with you know just free everything so all I had to do was pay for this and it was here by Tuesday and it is by far one of the most gorgeous blushes I have ever used it is just beautiful I have it on today so you can see how it translates it's just gorgeous there is just something about it it's right up there with my Lorac blushes but this has absolutely no shimmer and no sheen you can see it's very matte and I just love it. It is just so pretty. The most gorgeous blush 
everybody needs to at least go to the counter and try this. Just gorgeous, beautiful. So, have I said enough about that? When I feel really passionate about something, you can tell. And um, so, now this is something I have only tried. I have tried it yesterday. I came home with it and I showed Brooke because her and I both love eyeliners and makeup. And it is the Cargo Texas Liner Liquid Eyeliner. Grabbed it. Kelly and at Ulta said it's a very popular liner and people really like it. It's um, just a typical black liner, but these are good when you want to. What I was thinking is it would be good to get in there and then be able to kind of turn it and do a wider line too. Or you can do wide from the end and then pull it in. It's just, I don't know, I feel like it gives you good control. So if you use this, let me know. I have rarely ever been let down by a cargo product. They're just all around good products. They're not as, um, I'm not as into the metal and the, you know, the presentation of everything, but anyway. Okay, is that it? Okay, I think that's it for makeup. Um, so it has been 30 minutes. So I'm going to end this video and that will be all for makeup and hair and all that stuff. And then my next video is going to be some things that I got off of eBay, like shoes and some dresses and clothes and just some little tips and stuff like that. So um, if this is all you're going to watch, I hope you have a good weekend. And if not, I will see you in part two.